Hi guys and welcome back to my Dagenham and Redbridge career mode. This is episode 4 and we start with a league game against Rochdale. They, they're playing in blue, we're playing in our red kit. We start off and we do a lot of good possession play, knocking the ball around between each other. So I've had to speed it up because we just got so many passes into this build up. Eventually we get the ball to Josh Scott who has the shot and he goes wide. Unfortunately, but here Elite plays it to Chalabar, who cuts it back into Josh Scott. Josh Scott goes for the pass to Elito. Elito gets his shot away and it goes wide. And then Josh Scott Blair passes it to Blair Turgut, plays a lovely 1 2 with Brian Waddle. Fake shots it, passes it back to Waddle, gets his shot. And a great pulls a great save out of the Rochdale goalkeeper. Nil nil. It's time for some subs, so we bring on Williams for for Waddle and uh, Hal for Turgot. Chelabar gets his shot, but it's blocked by a, a lovely block by Kennedy, the Rochdale defender, and Rochdale falls Martinez into making a great save. But then they get the ball back into Grimes and. I don't know what they do here. We get the cross in and Martinez with a simple catch. Here we go. It's Hal to Williams. 82nd minute and it's still still nil nil. My Alito shot which was blocked. Nice block. Josh Scott picks up the ball. Gets it into inside the D. Shots. Goal! 1-0. 84th minute. Josh Scott. You can always rely on him to get a goal. Our top scorer and he's well deserved. All his goals are well deserved. All of them are some fantastic goals. Some of them are some tap ins, but still, if you need a goal, Josh Scott is your man. If you're playing in a, if you're doing it with a team with not a lot of budget, and you need someone who's got, who's already got pretty good finishing, Josh Scott is there. Always reliable to get a goal. And Scott Dow, don't know what he's doing there. Headers it away out for a corner when he could have just like cleanly headed it. Oh, at four, like just headed it away or could have put, le left it for the goalkeeper. But it doesn't matter, and the game ends 1 0. We win, away to Rochdale, pick up a nice three points away, clean sheet, and a goal. And look, Josh Scott, the name on fans' lips. Yep, valuable player. Yes, he is. Josh Scott is amazing. Martinez stepping up. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, media, the newspapers, yeah, they're all telling the truth. And. Our next game is Johnston Paint, Johnston Paint Trophy game against Brentford away, and you can see how we change up the team. I think do we keep Josh Scott in? No, Josh Scott's not in the team, but we've still got Chalabar, we've still got Elito, we've still got some great players in there. And in the fifth minute, Brentford get get their first the first chance to game. Lewington, Lewington's in the team this time instead of Martinez, so let's give Lewington a game, see how he plays. And yeah, he pulls that good save, and there that shot goes wide from Hayes, Brentford striker. And don't even know how to pronounce his name, but Hayes with another chance that goes wide for them. And Brentford were really they were making the uh, Brentford were making the threats early on, but they are in League One team. They're in the division higher. They got the better players, but we took our time to settle in. And we started to get some chances away, but not really very good chances as Alito's one goes wide and Williams one goes over. And then Osborne here gets a shot, don't know why he's shooting from there, could have passed it back to a go-go. But he does have, decide to have a shot and it goes into the side netting and Lewington making a good save there. And yeah, so as I was saying, Le uh, Brentford are in the league above us and they were really showing it. We defended fantastically. And we did make some good chances as well as some great defending. And I love that pass there from how I think it was Balsborn. Couldn't make the shot count, couldn't put it away. And once again, and I think that was how half time, yeah. Second half, Lewington with a good punch out. So it's half time ended and it's nil nil. Osborne cutting back, passes it to Chalaba. Chalaba shot off the post, off the keeper, and goal. 1 nil, 61st minute. Nathaniel Chalabar, you can call it sweaty, but I don't really care because 
it may have been like a sweaty goal, but it was pretty much more of a lucky goal for us. I don't know why Chalaba got the goal there. It was an own goal off the post and off their goalkeeper. But straight away from the kickoff, we win the ball back. Luke Howe showing off some nice strength there. Been hitting the gym. Gets his shot away, saved, but then Osborne pounces and it's 2-0 to the Daggers. Away to League One team. Away to League One opposition. But... Sorry if you got guys if you can hear the fireworks from outside I don't know why it's like it's the tenth of November I don't know why fireworks are going off but anyway you can see the changes we made sorry if you can hear them fireworks um Chalabar with a shot that was his last part of the game because we did well I did sub him off Lewington don't know what he was doing not catching that but lucky for us it was offside and they didn't get their chance. And Hyatt making a good block. As it goes out for a corner kick. As they swing one in and Dean with the header and oh he's got this he's my first name, is his last name. And unfortunately, um they score a goal to make it two one. Ninety minute they get a free kick, they swing one in and No, what has happened? We were doing fantastic the last fuck ten minutes and they scored two. But you guys, I sped it up, and there is a reason. I didn't want you to us to like miss it, but then everyone's heads were dropped, apart from Gavin Hoyt's tapped it past, wins the penalty. Oh my God, we concede two late goals, but we have the chance, and Josh got one on the pitch, so Osborne had the best penalty, and he was going to take it. So he takes it, left corner, yes. Oh my God, we concede two late goals, but we also score one, and that means we win the game. 3-2, and that is how it ends, just a couple of passes they make, but they don't get anything out of it as we head it back to Lewin and he kicks it up, or throws it out, either way it doesn't matter because that's the final whistle, we win 3-2 against higher league opposition once again, and look here guys, Akin Fenwa, the beast, the tank, Akin Fenwa wants to leave, he wants to leave, um, Northampton, so we decide we haven't really got the funds, but we'll knock it down to a hundred thousand. And uh, what player? Uh, Kevin Mayo, that's the one. He's not in the team, so we'll send that off. Hopefully they come back. Hopefully we get the. Um, hopefully he comes back, but no, he says no. They say uh, they're not interested in the player, and the money's not enough. So what I do, I quickly search through all the players see which one to uh, offer and I'm not going to offer any of my first team players I'm going to offer one of the ones that don't play and that is Duran Duran uh, Reynolds so £100,000 and Duran Reynolds hopefully we get Akin Fenwa and can you imagine that Akin Fenwa and Josh Scott up front that would just be unstoppable Josh Scott's pretty fast he's got a great finish Akin Fenwa is so strong, as everybody knows. He's just so big, so strong. And yeah, anyway, we're home to Chesterfield, and Nathaniel Chalabar gets us a goal, 1-0. As I said, we was home to Chesterfield or Cheltenham. Not quite sure who it was, but yeah, it's Chesterfield. Yes, yeah, so we're home to Chesterfield, and we get an early 10-minute through Nathaniel Chalabar, who I just love him. He plays, uh, he's a defensive midfielder, but his attacking is so good. And like, he's got a great finish, and he's got great heading, he's got great tackling. He's just an all round player, even though it's defensive minded. He can still get up and attack and score goals for you. That's what I love about him. So if you guys need a uh, midfielder who like to get, who's got good potential, then look no further than Nathaniel Chalabar, 17. And as you can see, Chesterfield scored a goal, a sweaty goal. But our heads didn't drop, and we carried on attacking, as we do, as we always do. Blair Turgut gets the corner in, and they get it cleared. No, they don't. Woodall gets a shot, but it's blocked. Josh Scott, and it's blocked. And that looked like handball to me, but referee fought otherwise. And eventually they get it cleared. Now Josh Scott, that is a free kick, but he gets his shot away, forces the corner, and uh, 
Martinez with a good save and then catches the second one. Lovely. And it was time for some changes. 73rd minute. 1-1. One, one. Changes were needed. So what do we do? We make the subs. And so here we go. Dominic Green swinging once. And it goes out for another corner. This is sped up because there's like two or three corners in this. Yes, yeah, Spillane with a header and it's tipped over the bar. Dominic Green taking the third one. Gone straight to Spillane again and he's hit the post. I reckon out of them three corners we should have at least got one goal. But we don't. And so Martinez making a great save. And they get their corner after we have a nice few corners. They get a corner, they swing it in, they hit it, they score. And we go 2-1 down to Chesterfield and 2-1 down and we do not want to lose. We need at least one point so we're going to make some subs and Osborne who scored two goals in the cup game. He's going to come on and hopefully score in us, for us in the league game. And as I was saying earlier, Chalabar with a great tackle. And Gavin Hoyt plays a lovely ball. Josh Scott just coming into the box, smash it in near post, 90th minute. As I said before, Josh Scott is always reliable. To score a goal and once again he scores the goal Josh Scott fantastic player fantastic striker and that's how the game ends 2-2 winning 1-0 then going trailing 2-1 but we end up with a 2-2 and here we've got Brentford and this is in the Capital One Cup the last game was in Johnston Paint Trophy this is in the Capital One Cup and I was just thinking I'm not focusing on winning a cup this season I'm focusing on promotion to League One, so I just go and play a full reserve team, as you can see here. I did speed it up so it wouldn't take long. So yeah, we just play a full reserve team. We've already beat Brentford once. We beat them 3-2 earlier in the game, earlier in the video, and so might as well just play my reserves for this one. Full reserves, Lewington again playing. Yeah, Osborne. Not not even Josh Scott wasn't even playing Josh Scott. But he's on the bench, so if we do need to bring him on, we're going to bring him on to get the goal. Because he is that reliable. And he, as I keep saying, he's so reliable. And I've got to stop saying the word reliable. And so early on, they've got, it looks like they had the same lineup. And they hit the post, and then Lewis in. Great punch. Again, he's made a good few punches in the few games that he did has played for us in this game. And once again, Brentford. No, once again we concede a sweaty goal, it weren't Brentford last time, but yeah, once again we concede a sweaty goal. And this comp com computer, and I just hate it. I hate it when the computer scores a sweaty goal, and as you can see they tried to do it again, but lucky for us, Lewington makes a save, and lucky for us, it was a foul. And one nil down, we need the subs, Osborne's coming off, He's not. he weren't playing well in this game. And so Josh Scott comes on, the man, to score the goal. And we need a goal, so we're going to bring him on. And as you can see, Lewington with a great save onto the bar. Lewington is a good goalkeeper, I'll be honest. But earlier, I don't know where the clip gone. The clip's gone, I must have deleted it. But Lewington said, boss, I want to play more games. So I'm playing him in more games. And hopefully, he'll show us that he's worth it. And that's how the game ends. It's 1-0. And look, I can fend my goals to Cholton. We don't get the beast, unfortunately. We don't get the tank. And, well, what are you going to do if you don't sign someone? You don't sign someone. Don't let your head drop as a manager because you're still there. You're still, the, um, you're still the manager of the team. You have to make sure the team's motivated. As you can see, Aaron Sandoval, centre-back, we're trying to get him on loan. And we, end up, we do get him on loan. And that is how the video ends, guys. We end up getting them alone, as you'll see at the end. So, thanks for viewing this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe so you don't make to make sure you don't miss an episode. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.